How to use Google Calendar for your business and work in 2021. Let's start. First of all, you'll have to go to your Google. From here, click on these dots and then find Google Calendar. Simply click on that and it will open your Google Calendar dot com. If you can find from here, then just go calendar.google.com. Remember that you will have to log into your Google account in order to avail this service. So first of all, let's see how we can actually add an event into our calendar. So this is the weekly view. So let's just say I have an event coming on 26 and the event will take place on 2 p.m. So I will simply double click right here. Once I do that, I will be able to add an event right here. It's so simple. First, you'll have to add a title. For example, it's a meeting. So this will be my title. Now, I can select the time right here. You can see the time selected now is 1.30. But my meeting will start on 12.30 p.m. till 2 p.m. So I will add the time right here. But if an event is taking place all day, for example, it's a birthday or anniversary, so you will click on all day and then it will be marked as a whole day. But I have a meeting on a particular time, so I have added the time. Then you can select these settings from here. If an event does not repeat itself, you can simply go with does not repeat. But if it's going to take place daily, then I will select this weekly on Thursday, monthly on last Thursday, or annually or every week. So this meeting will not take place again. So I will select on does not repeat. Then event details. Now here I will add the location. I will simply type whatever location I want to add and Google Maps will find that location for me. So how long before you want the notification like 25 minutes before the meeting that's good or if you do not want any notifications so you will simply click on cross then you can actually add another notification if you want to but i will not do that for now after that you can see that the calendar type is the calendar that i selected right here and color is this if i want to change the color i can simply choose any color right here after that you have to mark if you will be busy or free. So I will mark this as busy and then visibility will be public. The reason to do this is that other people that are in my calendar or I will be sharing with will know that I will be busy and it is now visible to public. After that, you have to add different description according to your event. For example, I have a meeting so I can just simply go ahead and add a description. You can actually attach a document if you want to, or you can actually have different options to customize your text right here. Once you are done with that, you will just simply click on save. And you can see my event has been added right here. Now, I will tell you how you actually check out your calendar and what's happening right here. You can see this is the weekly view. If I want to get a monthly view, I will just simply click right here. And now I will be able to see my calendar with monthly view. And if I want to schedule it, then I will simply click on schedule and I can actually schedule my calendar according to different days and different time. And I'm going to go back to week view right here after that if you want to change the month you will simply click on these arrows and you will be able to check out different months and check out what events happened in those months and then after that you can see this is my calendar so different things the birthdays and reminder and tasks they all have different colors the colors actually help you get more organized and customized and then these are different default calendars that are given if you do not want that you can just simply click on cross now if you want to share an event you can also do that here so you will simply click on the event that we just created and click on add it 
from here you can see that I can actually invite different guests to this event to this reminder so all I have to do is just simply add their email address and they will get this notification when I will save it then they will ask me to send this to the email that I have just added so I will select on send once I do that, you will see that event is saved and sent to the person I selected. So there is another way you can actually share your calendar with somebody else. So this is the calendar that I want to share. When I will click on these three dots, I will get the option of setting and sharing. Once I click on that, you will see that these are the settings for my specific calendar. And right here, I can share with specific people. And I will click on add people and add their email address right here. And after that, I can just simply add them right here. So you can as many people as you want to and they will have access to your calendar. Now we'll go back after that. How you actually delete an event. So deleting process is very easy. If you have an event, for example, this one. So I will just simply click on this and you can see the delete option right here. Once I will click on delete, the event will be deleted. After that, if you want to edit an event or you want to edit any information about it, so you will again click on that and click on edit event. And this will again come up and you can simply edit it right here. So I will just simply save it again. After that, how you can actually create an other calendar of your own. This is the calendar that I named this and this is what it looks like but i want to add another calendar so you will simply go to other calendars and click on this plus icon now i want to create a new so i will have to give this calendar a new name and add a description once i do that i will create another calendar and you will see that the calendar creation is successful and now you can see I actually have three calendars of my own and this is the new one that I just created. And I can just go through any of these calendars right here. So if I want to edit any of these calendars, I will just simply go to display this only or hide from list. You can actually hide this. So if you do not want it, you will simply click on this and the calendar will be removed. After that, you can see if you want to search an event, you can just simply go ahead on the search bar and type the word and you will be able to get to your event easily. You don't have to go through different a lots of lots of events at a time or you have a big calendar so you can just simply go ahead and search from right here and then you can see that there are different options also available if i go to tasks i can actually log in different tasks into my calendar as well then there is google map option also available that to which we actually added the location into our task so yeah, this is how you actually use Google Calendar. It's super easy to use and you can actually use it for your work and business right now. I hope I was a big help to you. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.